In this tutorial you will learn how to install and use an automatically opening and closing entrance door at the Smart Home for Seniors house model. You will be able to install, program, and use a RFID reader to trigger a SG90 servo motor to automatically open an entrance door. For implementation on the Smart Home for Seniors house model you need the following. A Raspberry Pi Pico. A full-sized breadboard. A micro USB cable, the MB102 power module, 6 AA batteries, the SG90 servo motor, the PIR motion sensor, the RFID RC522 module, the RFID tag, 10 male to male jumper wires, and 11 male to female jumper wires. To make the sensors work, you have to First, install the sensors Secondly, connect the electronics Thirdly, write a program code The motor has to be put in place from the inside of the Smart Home for Seniors house model with screws Make sure that rotary blade has room to maneuver so it can act as an entrance door. You also have to attach the wooden door to the motor separately. The sensor must be put in place from the outside of the Smart Home for Seniors house model. Place it within the window above the door. Use the delivered screws and nuts to hold the sensor in place. Place the RFID reader next to the door and use the delivered metal screws and bolts to hold it in place. To connect the SG90 servo motor, you have to Connect the red cable to the 5 volt rail Connect the black cable to the GND rail And connect the orange cable to GPIO0 pin To connect the PIR motion sensor you have to Connect the red cable to the 5 volt rail Connect the black cable to the GND rail and connect the yellow cable to GPIO 22 pin. For the RFID reader RC522 you have to connect the red cable to the 3V3 rail, connect the black cable to the GND rail, connect the purple cable to the GPIO 28 pin, connect the green cable to the GPIO 16 pin, connect the yellow cable to the GPIO 18 pin, Connect the orange cable to the GPIO 17 pin and connect the blue cable to the GPIO 19 pin. For generating the program code you will find a detailed description in the learning module. Please follow the instructions there. You will learn how the software and hardware components work together. And you will get to know more about Vonis environment and its additional functions.